I thought it would be really interesting to see if I could tell the difference between using the 12BH7 and the 12AU7 as a power tube in the basement micro circuit, or in my case, it's the JTM45 microamp. So um, what I did is I left all the volume knobs exactly the same, and the mic uh, I'm using a Shure KSM32 right in front of the in front of the speaker cab. Um, I was using the Mojo Tone British Vintage BV30-30H. So BV30. Yeah, anyway. So let's just, uh, and then I'm inside of Logic Pro. And in between takes, I recorded this on, a, on my Boss Looper. So the playing was exactly the same. And we're using, I'm using the FabFilter Pro Q3 EQ. And we're just going to let this play. Playing. And I'm going to take a screenshot of this. If I move my mouse, let me see here. It's a plot of the maximum reach frequency in the EQ. this plate at the end. All right. Okay, I just took the screenshot and we're going to pop over here to Photoshop and paste this in. We'll call this the 12BH7, that layer. Now let's come back to Logic Pro and do the same thing for the 12AU7. random playing no nothing fancy okay let's get this screenshot okay so I've got the screenshot let's pop back over into Photoshop now uh, I'll give this name this layer a name 12 au7 okay so this this bold white line is what we're looking at and that's the the volume at every frequency right and this is the 12 au7 this is the 12BH7. It's very subtle. Um, one thing I will point out, if you look over here, uh, 4.2 is what my decibel meter, you know, negative 4.2 for the 12BH7, negative 4.4 for the 12AU7. So a difference of, um, this is the, the peak level a difference of 0.2 decibels. So in person, I can't tell a difference. Um, and really not any particular frequencies stood out to me as being significantly different. Uh, let's try one more thing. I'm going to take the, uh, the fill down to maybe... Oh, there we go. You can, you can see um, the 12AU7 is just under just under the max volume of the 12BH7 although you know some of the frequencies are are going higher on the 12A7 let's uh let's do this other take and again this is just some random playing this one's a lot quieter Okay, so here's our 12BH7. Let's create a new document, throw that in there. We'll give this 12BH7, whoops, BH7. Come back into Logic and do the same thing for the AU7.
Okay, back to Photoshop. We'll paste this one in. And this is our 12AU7. Now look at the the meter right here, right? This uh, negative 7.9 for the B, oh, for the AU7. Negative 7.5, so a little bit louder for the 12BH7. So we're talking 0.4 decibels. Can't really tell in person. Uh, let's do that same little trick and drag the fill down. Okay, so it's maybe, you obviously can see this. Um, the 12AU7 is just barely under volume wise compared with the BH7. Um, in fact, yeah, it's anyway, in person, you can barely tell the difference. It is, it is interesting. Let's bump this back up to a uh, hundred percent fill. It's interesting to me on this one that the frequency peaks that, that this EQ picked out are all the same, right? Um, 12 or 2.1, 5.6 and 14, 14K. Right, those are all the same. Anyway, I thought this was an interesting uh, little experiment. And uh, for now, I've got the the 12BH7 in my JTM Micro, only because it's technically barely louder. But as far as everything else, I cannot audibly tell a difference in person. So that's that. Hopefully uh, you found this interesting and maybe helpful if you're trying to decide between a 12BH7 and a 12AU7 for your micro project.